Okay, guys, up next, AI is everywhere and it's hard to not use it for everything, right? But when should it be used in the grant writing process? In April, we promised more from the author of the best-selling book, The Queen of Grants, Libby Hyken. She's back now to talk us through AI and grant writing. Take a look. So Libby, when should AI be used in grant writing and what do you think are the pros but also the cons of it? You, there's no should in using AI in grant writing. Okay. You use AI as a tool, an application. You write your grant or you input your information and then you go through it where you're making your paragraph better, you're beefing it up, you're punching it out. Okay. You might want to use AI if you upload the needs, like the data. Mm -hmm. And then you want to write your goals. And the organization has already decided that this is what we want to do. So now you can take those needs and tell AI, we want to do the following. Can you give me five goals based on these needs? Okay. And then you can go back to your organization and say, are we on target? Don't let AI just run away with your proposal. That's the problem. Right. Because then it's not your proposal. You might be committing to doing something in your grant proposal that you never wanted to do. So when you use AI, you use it very carefully and very pointed and specific on what you want. You can write any kind of prompt you want into AI. So use it that way. If you're going to just say, oh, um, I paid uh, uh, Sam to write my term paper and then hand it in, you failed. Right. Right. And not only that, your, your proposal is going to look like everybody else's. It's going to say we're going to dive into, we're going to delve, you're going to have a tapestry. Um, all these words that AI uses over and over again are going to just come out and everybody's grant proposal is going to look the same. You want your passion of your organization and your own personal passion to show in the grant application. So use AI the same way you might use Grammarly or right. some other writing tools. Don't use it to write your proposal. Right. Use it as a tool to finesse it, to help you, but not to originate it. And read it afterwards. Because if you right. don't read what you submit, you're <laughs> sending in something that's good. It's just not going to be you. Sure. No, that makes total sense. So can you remind everyone where we can get your book, The Queen of Grants? Easy. Grantwatch.com slash book or go on Amazon. And just look for me, Libby Hyken.